Another reason why I love these openers. <sighs> Nothing like some good old fashioned mineral water. What's up, Tony here from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com talking about spray gun. So today we're gonna talk about the low volume, low pressure spray gun and why it actually might be a perfect fit for you. So what's the main difference between high volume, low pressure and low volume, low pressure spray guns? Well, the big difference is you can operate these spray guns with a smaller air compressor. All right, you could even use a pancake air compressor to operate one of these because it requires less air volume for your basic atomization and paint transfer. All right, so let's go over some of the bullets here. The pros are smaller air compressor, okay. So you can be using a 30 gallon air compressor, no problem, and use one of these. It might be a little difficult doing a whole car, but it's gonna be a lot easier than using a high volume, low pressure spray gun because you're using so much more volume. This, you're gonna be using a lot less volume, and it's perfect for DIY use and even professional. All right, it's great for DIY. It's great for clear coats. And when you start spraying with different kinds of spray guns, you're gonna notice, uh, well, I notice on the Atom guns especially, um, they have a concentrated fan pattern. So you're gonna get less over sprayer on the outsides. You're gonna get more of a concentrated spray for clear coat. And a lot of people like using low volume, low pressure for spraying clear coats. All right, and I do too. Now, here's the little myth, okay? The myth is you have to use high volume, low pressure for base coat, low volume, low pressure for clear coat. Well, that's absolutely not true. You can use either or for both types of paints, okay? So if you wanna get technical, some technical people like to use this version, the low volume, low pressure for as their clear coat gun and then the high volume low pressure as a base coat gun because it just sprays base coats much better. Transfer rate gets it on really, you get really fast coverage uh, with a high volume low pressure spray gun. Um, as you can see some of the videos on my channel and uh, at the uh, website there, I have tons more videos on this. So if you want to check that out, click over here to learn more. But anyway, the low volume low pressure Atom X27 here also has a very, very good transfer rate. Okay, so you're gonna get a lot of material coming out. It has a little bit more overspray than the high volume low pressure, but really not a huge difference. You're really not gonna notice it that much, you know, between the two guns. And also, it might use a little bit more material. They say it uses a little bit more material because you have more overspray, but it's really not a huge difference. What is it, a couple of ounces, you know, maybe through a whole paint job? Not really much. And the other question is, Tony, what tip size do I use? I'm gonna be painting, I'm gonna be using some enamel paints or clear coat paints. Well, when it comes down to it, a 1.3 or 1.4 is ideal for all around automotive and woodwork painting. So as you see on this Atom X27, we have a 1.3 tip size here and it sprays fantastic. I did a couple of projects with this, a clear coat, uh, the lawnmower project that we recently flow coated back there came out amazing. It's getting tons of reviews on YouTube. Uh, we used this for the clear coat. So if you're looking for a really good clear coat gun, you want a clear coat only gun, I would highly recommend getting the low volume, low pressure version, the Atom X20, 21, or 27. This is the highest end model that they make right now. It's a very, very nice. The other pro about low volume, low pressure spray guns is that they're really good spraying enamel or single stage paint. So if you're gonna be banging out a single stage paint job, uh, acrylic enamel or a synthetic enamel, one of these guns, this thing is really gonna cover really quickly um, with, your, with your thicker paint. So if you're spraying primer, heavy 2K primers, I would really highly recommend to get a 1.8 to a 2.0 tip size, all right, when getting this. And the cool thing about Atom is they made their tip kits and conversions very, very affordable and inexpensive. Around 70 bucks or less, you can get a complete tip kit conversion on these to turn this into a 2K primer filler spray gun. So super, super cool. Again, you know, going back to the very beginning, you can use both spray guns for base coat and clear coat. You can use either a 1.3 or a 1.4 tip size for base coat and clear coat. It's user preference. If I were you, I'd pick up a gun, get a 1.3 and a 1.4 tip kit, and maybe a 2.0 tip kit. This way you can play around with it and learn it. You know, you get to see for yourself 
how a 1.3 feels and shoots, how a 1.4 feels and shoots, how a 2.0 feels and shoots with the primers. All right, this way you have firsthand experience you get to know and you get to pick, oh, I like the 1.3 better, I like the 1.4. It's really user preference, all right? And the main difference is compressor size. So if you're a DIY guy and you're looking for a gun that'll just shoot just about anything out of the box, go for the low volume, low pressure version. If you are a more experienced person and you wanna get a nice high volume, low pressure to do your base coats and graphics and whatnot, go for the high volume, low pressure. All right, it's Tony here. Talk to you soon, have a great day. Hope you learned something. If you wanna learn more about this, click right over here to go to learnautobodyandpaint.com for some free training and also down below for some more information and a link to an article on Zula.com about high volume, low pressure and low volume, low pressure spray guns. Talk to you soon. Please share, like, subscribe. Have a great day, bye. Right.